everyone, so in today's video, I am bringing you just a video of me screwing around and trying a bunch of new makeup products. I realized that I had been trying a few products that I didn't want to do just like separate reviews on, so I figured it would be fun to just play around with a bunch of new products with you today. I have a few new Urban Decay products. I have these new lip and cheek tints that I've been playing with, as well as the new setting spray from them and the mascara. I have the little juicy tubes from Lancome, shadow sticks, skin tint, so we have a lot to go through. So if you're excited about today's video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you find me tolerable I would always love to have you back. So please make sure to subscribe as well. All right You guys are all zoomed in. Let's first start off with some base products I am going to use a primer that I already know and depend on because I just want the tinted moisturizer to have you know, the best chance at working for me. So I'm going in with my good old Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base You guys know that this has been a favorite for, ooh, I got quite a lot. You don't need as much as I have on my sponge. This has been a favorite for a very, very long time. And it's really good at giving you a super, like a buttery smooth canvas, but it's also hydrating. There, it's not a silicone primer. It's really difficult to actually describe. I wish that other brands came out with primers in this vein, like a really creamy cream base product rather than like something super liquidy. I think it's underrated. Um, I know it's been like a cult favorite, but I still think it's somehow like underrated. Oh, and see, like after you put it on your skin, I feel like the quality of my skin looks better every time I wear it. Now that we are all set, this is the product I wanted to try out with you guys today. I have tried it once before, but I really didn't get a good idea of you know, how it was going to work for me. So this is the NYX Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. And I've been wanting to try this. I've had a few people ask me about like the Bear With Me line from NYX and I just haven't given it a good shot. It comes in like this little squeezy tube. I have Vanilla Nude, which looks to be a little bit more um, fair yellow. Yeah, it's a little bit yellow, but that's okay. It's not that bad. Because I have neutral skin, I can kind of like get away with either or, as long as it's not too yellow. So we'll see how this ends up looking. I've been kind of applying it with my fingers and then using a sponge to blend out. I feel like I'm getting more coverage that way. Oh my God, it just glides on. And I don't know if it's from that Bobbi Brown primer. It just makes everything just so spreadable. Like it really is like spreading butter on a piece of toast. So right now I can Definitely say this is more of a sheer coverage, which I think most of you know I don't mind. Maybe more light coverage or sheer depending on, you know, what you're trying to cover. But it's covered most of my redness. I do have a little bit of redness peeking through on my cheeks, which is where I'm the most red. And I'm not gonna need much coverage on my forehead, so I'm gonna take some of that excess and put it back down here. But, you know, right now, it's incredibly skin-like, very, very skin-like. And it's applying really well with this sponge. This is the same sponge I used with my primer, obviously, but it's not wet. Um, I think a lot of people feel like they have to wet their sponge if they plan on using it, but that's definitely not the case. Um, sometimes if you want more coverage, and honestly, if you're using a new formula, I think it's better to go in with a sponge that is not wet because you're not sure how the dampness of a sponge will react with a formula like for the first time. So I think that's always the best route to go. I'm really, really into that. Like really into that. And one thing that I really like about it is with some skin tints, you can kind of still really see the pores visible on the skin. But this one does a really good job at not making the pores overly visible um, and even just like slightly blurring them, I think. But it just feels like a moisturizer on your skin. I wouldn't say it's necessarily weightless. Like you can definitely feel like that moisturizer quality when it's on the skin, but the way it looks on the skin is weightless. Like it doesn't look like a lot of product. Wow, we're off to a good start. Um, I don't have a new concealer to try, so I'm just going to, there was a hair on that, um, going with my Kosas Revealer Concealer. 
I recently uploaded a video of me reviewing every concealer in my collection because more is more. But actually, honestly, in today's video, I just wanted to do more of like a sit down, chatty, let's try products because I'm the kind of person I put a lot of pressure, by the way, I'm just letting the concealer set. I like to do this with my concealers. So I put a lot of pressure on myself, a lot, um, just to come out with like the most valuable content, like the most amount of information, the most helpful. And I absolutely love doing those videos, but um, I don't want to burn myself out, if that makes sense. Like I know that um, just from listening to other creators that YouTube burnout is like a thing and I just don't want to go down that road. So for today's video, I figured we would just do something just not as high stakes, if that makes sense. A video where we're not talking about like 15 different products, full demos, swatches. My videos take a very long time to edit. I'm not complaining because I prefer it that way. Like these are the kind of videos that I prefer to do, the ones that are super time intensive. Like those are my favorite videos to do. So I'm just gonna blend this out really quick. And by the way, I just used my Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil to do my brows really quickly because I do not have a new brow pencil to try. So yeah, I figured, you know, do a video today that is just fun, talk about some new products that you've been really interested in, and hopefully you guys are interested in them as well. So hopefully it's entertaining. Anyway, um, I mentioned in that uh, recent video where I was reviewing all of my concealer collection that I just love this concealer. It's such a good all-around concealer for so many reasons. It never looks heavy, but it offers a lot of coverage. So now I'm really interested in trying these new Urban Decay blushes. I put them on my face like haphazardly a couple of days ago and was a little bit unsure. So hopefully today we can kind of figure these out together. So these are the new Urban Decay Face and Lip Tints. So I have two shades. I have the shade 1993, which is not the color I was expecting, if I'm being honest. It's way more like purpley. Oh, it's so buttery, like super melty. Um, but you can see there definitely is more like, it reminds me of Storm actually from Glossier, except maybe, a little bit more pink, um, but definitely more like a mauvey pink. And then I have the shade Bang. These are inspired off of like lipstick shades they already have. So that's Bang, and then that is 1993. I can't even, do you see how like melty these are? They're almost like, uh, like lip oils or um, like a cheek oil. It's very interesting formula. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Bang on my cheeks just because I really love this sort of like corally orange shade. And I'm just going to take some on my finger and tap it on, especially with a formula like this. I'm afraid of it picking up the skin tint. So I'm just going to like slowly build it up. I don't want to use a brush with this kind of formula. I think it would not work out well. So just tapping it in. Right now it seems to be blending nicely. It does feel like very oily though, like thin, but also like a quite dewy. It looks really pretty. Um, it's definitely dewy, very, very dewy. You can see there, super, super dewy. It definitely builds. You can see I could get a little bit more pigment. If you do not want gloss, if you do not want dew, this is probably not the product for you. So let's go on to the other cheek and see how this looks. The color is really gorgeous. This is a very flattering sort of coral pinky orange shade. But what an interesting formula. I don't think I've used a formula quite like this because it just is so thin but so dewy and so melty. That's very interesting. I think I'm gonna take my sponge and try and blend it out and see what that does. So I am not seeing it pick up 
any of the foundation that I have on. But just from my experience right now, you know, I'm having to be really careful because I don't want the foundation under it to kind of pick up. And I am noticing like a little bit of movement, but because it's so emollient, it's kind of easy to tap back out if that makes sense. The cheeks look like, you can see it's very, very, very dewy, which I mean, I like a dewy look. First impressions on this are good. Um, I'm not immediately like blown away by it. I'm not sure how many of you know like how infatuated I am with cream blushes especially. So I have a pretty, I guess a high standard for them and I really want to make sure that the ones I recommend are like the best of the best because they're really a product I absolutely adore. So right now I think the jury is out for the moment on these just because the formula is kind of throwing me for a loop. In person, I think it looks really fresh and pretty. Shears out really well over the skin as well, but I'm just not completely sure about it yet. So next up, let's go into the eyes and we're going to play around with the Aqua Resist Smoky Shadow from Makeup Forever. I have the shade Six Earth and this is not a first impression because I have used this a few times and I'm really, really, really enjoying it. It's more of like a Kajal style crayon. It's really quick to just frame the eyes and the formula is blendable, but it also stays put, which I mean is everything that you could want out of a cream shadow. So I'm going to just take some on the outer corner, a little bit up into the crease and watch how easy this is. Just get like a really fast shadow look. I'm just taking like a small rounded brush and blending out the edges into the crease. And this is not going to crease up. At least it doesn't on me. Doesn't that just look so effortlessly blended? It took me not even 10 seconds, but it just looks like it took a lot longer. Over here, this is also really good if you just like that sort of smoked out winged effect on your outer corner. I find that that is such a flattering look for my eyes because it gives them shape and it gives them an angle, but it doesn't take away from like the roundness of my eyes either. I don't even know if that made sense. It does blend out a slightly different color than how it looks in a swatch. Let me swatch it for you real quick. You see how it's more of like a rusty brown orange and then when you blend it out, the color does shift a little bit. And that could be because I don't wear eye primers. I typically just use the concealer that I have on. So it could be the concealer disrupting the color, if that makes sense. Definitely going to be checking out other eye colors. I'm way more impressed with these than I was ever impressed with the Laura Mercier caviar sticks. Those are just so expensive. These are more affordable. And I just find the blend is so much easier for some reason. Um, but anyway, so if you really enjoy like an easy cream shadow, just shape the eyes the way that I did, I would definitely recommend this. And next let's curl the lashes because we have a new mascara to try. I honestly don't know anything about. It's called the Urban Decay Lash Freak. This is a sample size. It says, there's a freak in all of us supposed to be very budge proof and give you a lot of volume. So let's see if that is actually the case. And I don't know why this brush reminds me of like, gives me like parasite vibes. Like it's a little bit disturbing. Do you see how it kind of like, can't you see that like, like a leech. Anyway, let's put this on my eyes. Oh, and this has a very potent mascara smell. This is like very potent wet mascara. So let's see. This gives me freaky volume. Oh yeah, it's, whoa, it's definitely giving a lot of volume very quickly. I mean, this definitely gives volume, but do you see how it's a little bit like spiky? It is a little bit spiky for my taste. I will say one thing about the brush is it really like all of the lashes up. 
because you can get to the bottom. It is a little bit spiky for me though um, because I prefer my mascara to just look more fluttery. It is kind of an acquired taste. I don't know if you can see, but it kind of like pulls together the lashes to give you, I mean, it looks like there's less lashes, but it's almost like like a cartoon Bambi sort of look. I'm kind of on the fence about it because the longer I look at it, especially with more of a winged out liner look, it looks really, it looks unique. It definitely gives you like a different sort of mascara look. I think I'd have to be in the mood for it. But yeah, do you see how it kind of gives you that more like, I don't know, it's like a cartoony sort of separation. So I'm now going to go back into the brows and use this little guy from M Cosmetics. It's the Clear Flexi Brow. It's just like a clear brow gel, but I typically don't even really like a more clear basic brow gel. I do like a clear brow pomade, but the reason I really like this one, it makes the front of my brows still like super feathery, which I really like. And I can set the brows into place to looking nice and feathery and soft without the brows like looking or feeling crunchy like can you even see the difference there like and this is my small brow like the way you can kind of shape the brows while using this it makes them look so much like fluffier i'm gonna do the same thing over here again i like to push my brows up in the front it makes them i think just in general, it makes the brows look more natural. It really does bring like some shape and a texture that's really pretty to the brows. I think this is my favorite um, brow product that M Cosmetics has come out with. So I've been really enjoying it. And before we go into the new Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Setting Spray, I want to go into the lips because I also have a new product to try out with the lips. I mean, is it new or is it old? I guess it's a re-release. So it is the Lancome Juicy Tubes. I got this as like a sample and I have been wondering about this. This is the Marshmallow Electro shade and I had never tried out the Lancome Juicy Tubes when they first released. Now they're obviously back and I'm interested in seeing how this gloss formula is going to work for me. You guys know I'm very picky with glosses, so we will see how this goes. So I'm just taking Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk to line the lips because this doesn't have a ton of color. It's like a translucent sort of pinky shade, which I think is gonna be really pretty, like translated on the lips, but. So now that we lined, let's go in. I actually am interested in seeing how this smells. Does it smell like marshmallow? Oh my God, it does. Mm. Like Lucky Charms marshmallows is what I get from this. Oh, it has like a, a lot of shimmer in the shade. Oh, you don't need much with this. Kind of blend this out a little bit. You guys even know what I'm saying. First impressions, it smells really good. I don't know if I apply too much, but I'm definitely getting a little bit of the pooling that I do not like. Maybe I just applied too much. I got a little bit of the excess off. I'll just take a little bit. I imagine that this might be pretty if you like a, like a long wear lip gloss color. And I'm sure like some of the other translucent shades are probably really pretty, but I'm getting a lot of that pooling uh, still that I am not a fan of. Yeah, I don't know. Have you guys tried these? And if so, like, are you a big fan? Are there certain shades that I should try out? Cause right now I'm not really, I'm, it's not my favorite. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna take that off and not because it's like unwearable, but I kind of want to see how this 1993 shade like looks on the lips. Oh, it's, I mean, it's like we said before, it's super creamy. It's a little slippier than I would like. You see how that gives you just like that sheer blotted sort of lip look. But lastly, let's go in and test this because I was so excited to try this. It's the All Nighter from Urban Decay, but it is the glow version. So it's the All Nighter refreshed with a dewy finish. 
um, infused with hyaluronic acid and agave extract to keep your skin moisturized but also locked in. So let's just go ahead, give it the old shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like this spray sprays out more than the original. Not in a bad way, it's still a very fine mist, but. It's definitely dewy, but is this dew that will, you know, fade or? You guys notice like a lot more dew after that? The formula is definitely different um, because there is still denatured alcohol in here, but it smells different. So I don't think the denatured alcohol is, is as high on the ingredient list. And I'll update you guys on it as well in the description box on how I thought it looked. All right, so should we do final thoughts? Let's go through everything that I have on my face real quick. So first starting off with the NYX, bear with me. Right now, I'm really pleased with the way that it looks. It looks very skin-like. It's more of a light coverage, slightly dewy, but it's not so, so dewy that um, someone that doesn't have dry skin won't be able to wear it. It looks very skin-like, very natural, and it's obviously affordable. And there's a lot of shades. Next, we have the Urban Decay Face and Lip Tints. I think that the way they look on the skin once they're blended out is really pretty, but I just have a feeling that with um, you know, this type of formula, because it is so sheer, but also very slippy and melty, that I just don't think that this formula is gonna be one that a lot of people enjoy. You know, just the feeling that I would get from a formula like this is that it's not going to be as user-friendly. So I think that this one, though it blends really easily on the skin, because it's so slippy, I think that some people would get afraid to use it, if that makes sense. Now, once it's applied, you can see it's like very dewy. So I personally, like right now, um, especially this shade, the shade Bang, I think it's really soft and like juicy looking on the skin, but I would not wear it with you know, a full coverage foundation, something like a sheer skin tint. I think this works really well in combination with. And on the lips, I applied it and it looks really pretty, but again, it's very slippy, so I'm not positive of how it would wear long-term. As for the cream shadow, I already told you guys that I absolutely love this formula. It's so pretty and easy to use. I love how creamy it is and it's just so quick to give you that really pretty defined eye that's nice for every day. So I'm really liking these Aqua Resist Smoky Shadows. As for the mascara, so the mascara I am, I have to be honest, like I'm kind of on the fence about it. One, I stand by my claim that this mascara wand looks like some sort of parasite. It is more of a wet formula, which I usually am not a huge fan of a very wet formula. It definitely gives you that sort of like doll eye look that I think some of you will really like, but I think it's an acquired taste. Um, I personally like a really fluffy lash, like I said before, but I do think that paired with this sort of winged out um, smoky shadow look is really pretty. I think the combo's nice. So kind of on the fence about this. I don't think I would purchase the full size, but to have this to kind of play around with, I think will be really nice. Next we have the M Cosmetics Brow Gel. I already told you guys that I've been using this for a bit and I just really like it. I like how feathery and structured it makes the brows look, sets them into place, but it doesn't feel crunchy, which I really don't like. And that's kind of the reason why I lean more towards brow pomades as a whole. So I'm really liking this, the Lancome Juicy Tubes. I feel like everyone really likes these and just first impressions wise, it's a little bit too thick, um, was giving me that stringy look. It smells delicious, and maybe it's just this shade, but as of now, um, I'm not liking it. Especially too, because it was giving me shine, but I could still sort of see the lines of my lips. Here, let me show you, just to give you like an idea, so you guys know that I'm not crazy. Let's go in with a product I just talked about. It's the shade Moon from the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. Um, they are very similar to the gloss bombs, as you might know from my Spurge or Save video. I don't find that this gloss particularly fills in the lines on my lips. It's not filling in every lip line, but it just makes the lips look a little bit healthier. There's no stringiness whatsoever. It feels comfortable on the lips. And let me show you again the long cone. Can you sort of see in like a side-by-side -side how 
this just isn't as shiny. See, actually, it's still pulling between my lips a bit. And put this back on. And lastly, we have the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow. I think my skin does look glowier, but it does feel like it's set down. So that is nice. I think this is kind of working as a replacement to the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, which I was a really big fan of and they ended up discontinuing it. So I think that this is maybe like their replacement for that. So first impressions for this are still good. Um, I will need to continue to use it to see how it reacts with my makeup because I would love for it to give me like a pretty dewy finish and add a little bit of dew to more of like a matte look if I am wearing matte makeup. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, if you enjoyed it, I would also love for you to subscribe and come back and visit me on my channel. I'm here every week just doing my thing, making videos. So I would love to have you here. And with all of that, I will hopefully see you in my next one.